Hey everyone, it's Craig Reckless. Today we're going to be doing You're the One That I Want on the Grease uh, soundtrack. So I'm going to show you three different ways, so don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you a way to do it with your band. I'm going to show you the way to do it on a campfire. I'm going to show you a way to do it if you just want to cheese the bass line up. So let's dig right in. So it's going to start out, it's going to go... So what I'm doing there is I'm going, I'm going A to E, so I'm going. So I pretty much just play the A and then play the, the bass line of the E. I'm going. So we're going A. But when I'm playing the A, I'm, I'm holding, so I'm holding the, uh, the uh, fourth string down, second fret. I have the A string ring open, the fifth string open. So I'm going. So I'm playing those two notes. Then I'm going to the sixth string open. Back to the fifth string open. So I'm going. In between there, I might do some muted, muted stuff. Then I'm going. So I'm hammering on to the third fret. Uh, on the sixth string, so I'm going, and I'm doing that with my third finger. So see what I'm doing? So I'm doing, so basically I'm going. So now that I, I spice it up, I'm going. And then, uh, so okay, so the cheesy, I'll show you the cheesy bass line first thing too. So, so the first bass line thing, we're gonna go. So the bass line thing we're gonna be doing is, uh, we're gonna go F. So we're going F to C. So it's gonna be F. It's gonna be the uh, first finger on the first fret of the sixth string. And the C is gonna be your third finger and the uh, third fret, fifth string. So we're gonna go. Then after that we're gonna go. We're gonna go C to G. So C to G is gonna be third fret fifth string to third fret sixth string. See that? So watch that. So so far we're gonna go. Then we're gonna go. So it's gonna be an E next, so we can either go, we're gonna, there's two ways we can do it. We can do it like this, or, okay, that's, they're both E. So this is gonna be E, the, the low part, which would be uh, my first finger on the second fret, fifth string, and the sixth string open. Or you, you could do this one, which would be the octave. So it would be, uh, uh, my first finger is going to be on the second string, fourth string, or second fret, fourth string, uh, second fret, fifth string. See that? Back to. So that's going to be all that bass part. Then, then we're going to, the, so the, the, that's going to be the bass part of it. So the, uh, the guitar part, if you're going to campfire it up, would be to do pretty much just that too. Be going, but uh, this is how, how I do it. So I, I do it without the bass stuff, except for the first bass part. I go. Then I go. So right from there you can do you can do the bass part that I did in the beginning. And then go to the F. And then make it choppy. And then to the C. And then you'd go to the E. Then back to the A minor. Or you can do the bass part. So the can't fire it up, you'd be going you'd be playing a C.
to the G, to the A minor, to the F, to the C, to the G, to the A minor, to the F. Stays on the F, then it goes, then this will be the chorus part. So let's campfire it up. We're gonna go. So we're gonna go C to B flat to F. Yeah, it'd be the complete bar chord. And then, so we do that a couple times, uh, about four times, and then it goes to the G. So let's try the, the real version I would do with a band. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to let my bass player do this part. And I might go, I might, I might go, add a little funk to it. And then when he does that part, if I wanted to campfire it up, I'd make it funky, you know, if I was playing on my back. So I wouldn't play it at all myself. I think when my band, I'm actually, we're actually going to play this, or my band is, well, I'm not putting this lesson out until after we play it. I'll try to have a video out of it soon. But, so I wouldn't play that, the first part of the bass part. I would come in at... And the C and the G. I play full bar chords and then call it the A minor to get that A minor high high up here. Set it down here to, to the F to the C to the G to the A minor to the F. Then I would play the C or bar chord. To the B minor or B flat. To the uh, F. Then we're going to do the F to the G take. That's it, and it repeats, you know, like that. Um, so it does that another time. I think so. The, the last chorus, it does it like three times. You know, it does the chorus three times, the whole thing, chorus three times. So that's it. Have fun with that song.